Rule number two. The path to the truth is a labor of the heart, not of the head. Make your heart your primary guide, not your mind. Meet, challenge, and ultimately prevail over your nafs, false ego, with all your heart. Knowing your ego will lead you to the knowledge of God. When we understand life or the role that we are playing through the eyes of our mind, then all we develop is an ego. In my understanding, ego is not something that I choose to fight with anymore or battle with or want to erase it from my being for it was something that I was born with and so I want to use it to channel my energy into it as a way to keep me safe and also a way to sink my mind to my heart and then to my soul because the journey of being a human is not to kill that what we are born with rather experience it, fully own it, and understand that it is there for a reason. Nothing in us was put in us for no reason. And so if the ego exists, then there is a reason for it. There is a journey to understand how you can control, manage, and free yourself from the battle of the ego. When I started reading this book, I realized that the only way to understand ego was to be forgiving, was to become more open to the idea that that what I think is not always right, that what I know is not always the truth, that what I do is not all that I'm here to do. And so that led me to a feeling of being limitless, of being free, of understanding that the roles that I play do matter, but yet there is more to me than the roles that I play. And so I freed myself from being a slave of an ego and become friends with it. It's almost like taming your demons and understanding them, for they do exist. And the more you fight the ego or want to get rid of it, the more it actually becomes bigger. The more you understand it, forgive it, face it, you realize it's always been there for a reason. I believe that to love unconditionally, we must learn to love all that is ugly and dark and all that we are told is not nice. Beauty is not just seeing beauty in what beautiful is. Beauty is seeing everything as beautiful. To love everyone for who they are. To understand that ego is not just something that was just put there by chance. It is there for our own good. It is there for us to understand the world a little bit better in a different realm, in a different way. It is not something that we're meant to get rid of. It is something that we can train ourselves to become better humans. The experience here wouldn't be the way it is if it wasn't for the ego that we have within ourselves. Don't fight it, own it, accept it, and let it be.